Well, we're in a 21st century setting, Southampton St Mary's Stadium, and Alan Smith has joined me, Martin Tyler, to describe the action for you here. Southampton in action today against Wolverhampton Wanderers. They've been a high-scoring team throughout the season, haven't they? And there's no question that they're a very good watch. We're delighted to be here to watch them again today. Well, we should expect goals because this team has got some really good strikers who are banging form. Well, we've got a, a battle within the war today, haven't we, with the player getting his track at his old teammates? Yeah, and I think it's always an emotional time when you face your former club, so he just want to concentrate on doing himself justice. Here's the Southampton team for you. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be adjusted. It could almost be a 4-5-1 if they decide to come over all defensive, this team. But uh, if they're on the front foot, that three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems. Thank you for attending St. And here is the way Wolves are set out for this vital fixture. We put it up as a 5-2-3, it could be 3-4-3, three, three, couldn't it, if the wide players get forward from the back? Yeah, I think it's one of those, it could be anything the manager wants it to be. He has got some very talented lads out there, though. Schweinsteiger. It's a defender on top of his game here, and certainly on top of the opposition then. Here's Jota. Striding forward, purposefully. In quickly. Schweinsteiger. Guedes. Being closed down here. Working away to try and find an opening. Got to be. Really hit well, but didn't trouble the goalkeeper. Yeah, maybe a little sighter for him there. through there but the defender was absolutely on top of his game well coming here today you sense that the home fans expect a victory because they've won the away game against this club they're facing today it's never quite as simple as that is it well no and uh, the losing side will have a point to prove because they really didn't uh... oh, this free kick given and there's a real uh, discussion now about how to make the most of it well, the player's not happy about the yellow card. It's a burden for him, of course, for the rest of the game now. And uh, he's booked early on. Yeah, he's saying, well, it's my first challenge, my first tackle, but the ref's not having any of it. free kick that was in the end just too high yeah i think probably the keeper had got his angles covered there high and quite handsome really it was a good strike yeah he's got some dip on it but it just didn't come soon enough Guedes. sims now this is an interesting attack and there is some uh, backup for him in this position Oh, that's good defending. Had a go! And a corner given by the referee. 
Well, the goalkeeper wouldn't want to be beaten from there, and he made sure he wasn't spectacularly. Yeah, because it was sweetly struck, and you do have to pay attention to those. That's a fine shot, and even better save. Yeah, he would have been disappointed to get beaten, but nevertheless had to keep his eye on the ball. And in it goes. Good defensive clearance there. It's a corner again. Corner played in. To put them in front. It looked a certain goal until the defender managed to get some contact. That's just instinct, but that is top defended. Corner played into the middle. Here's a chance, goalkeeper exposed. Schweinsteiger's in the middle. Great connection with the shot, and the goalkeeper's done just as well with the save. Good vision. Played in the clear. Gonna try his luck. Up for grabs here. Crowd here still gasping about that save to keep it all square. That's good. Quite clearly a free kick. Nice bit of player managing by the referee here, not hiding behind brandishing a card. Yeah, but that player involved will have to be careful from now on. He's in the last chance saloon. Takes on the shot. You do need perfect connection from that distance, and he didn't get it. Yeah, I thought he was optimistic going for goal there. I was right. News for you of a future EA Sports presentation, the quarter-final FA Cup fixture for Southampton. They'll be hosting Spurs. Yeah, you get to this stage, Martin, and you can almost smell Wembley. Gian Moutinho. Doherty. And we'll start again with a goal kick. Quick reminder of the next game for the visiting team in the Premier League is this. Join us on EA Sports keep you right up to date during this match with what's going on elsewhere and here's Alan McAnally it's a goal for Bournemouth 30 minutes played 1-0 thank you very much Alan João Moutinho João Moutinho dangerous pass I think with the keeper pushing it away well that's gone behind for a corner swung in from the corner not wanting to catch the corner he's Fisted it away from danger. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Now Doherty. Badly time tackle. He'll be booked for that. Well, that's a yellow card. Yeah, I don't think there's any choice there from the ref. Well, let's have another look at that tackle again, Alan. All right, it's a definite foul, Martin. It's a slight tackle, but he just mistimed it badly. He's normally good from these set plays, and uh, his teammates are expecting a good ball in. Cleared away, well away from goal. Alan McAnally's at the Britannia Stadium today, and he's got some news for us, Alan. It's a goal for Stoke City. 36 minutes played, 1-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Doherty. Sims.
Diogo Jota. Just working away to try and find an opening. Going for goal! Good try. Diogo Jota. Could get the ball into the box now. Well, it is a chance to relieve some of the pressure here by simply having the ball. And that will be a corner. The referee has given a corner here. But here comes the corner. Terrific defensive play there. Cleared away by the defender. Juan Moutinho, chance to get the ball in the box. A great chance to go in front. Good stop by the goalkeeper. Well, that is half-time, and the score is nil-nil here. And the home team's normal firepower conspicuously lacking so far. Yeah, they've not been uh, as potent as we've seen so often this season, but still 45 minutes. Just working Everyone's settling back in their seats. Second half is underway. He might be through. Real chance now. What an opening to opening the scoring. I think he was a bit too casual there. Really should have buried it. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. The shot's on. Good block to put them in front. There's an update from uh, Alan McAnally at the Britannia Stadium. It's a goal for Crystal Palace. 53 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Now a chance to get a bit of width into this attack. Great chance! A really vibrant, venomous volley. Well, the cross was great for him, and it made up his mind, and what a goal. Look at this again. The most venomous of volleys. Well, one for the scrapbook, this. He won't score many better. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? <laughs> Southampton in front. Doherty. Gian Moutinho. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Oh, 
Guerrero. Could whip it in from here. They've soaked up a lot of danger here, but it hasn't hurt them, and now they're on the ball. Well, they're still trailing, and they need to do something now if they want to get back into this game. Maybe some fresh legs will do the trick. He's put in the corner. And the goalkeeper will get this one, no problem. Bit of space for him. Now out on the wing. Well, that's straightforward for the goalkeeper. We've got a penalty awarded elsewhere. Alan McInally is watching it. It's a penalty for Bournemouth. He's put the ball down on the spot. He steps up to take it. Chance. Oh, lovely. Straight down the middle. Always tough for goalkeeper. 62 minutes played. 2-1. Thank you very much, Alan. Guedes. And he shoots from long... Praise for trying the shot, Alan. Well, his teammates aren't too happy. Good tackle from my money, Alan. What about yours? Well, he had to get it right, and, and it was as clean as a whisker. That's going to be a, a free kick. Cleared away, well away from goal. Well, a corner to come because of that deflection. Well, this is where managers really earn their money. In a losing situation, they've got to make a substitution. Got to get it right, really, to have any chance of getting anything from the match. Corner played into the middle. Defended well. Twenty minutes of the ninety still to play. Oh, it could be dangerous. It's had a cut. Maybe a bit of a sighter, but it was a strong effort. I have seen him score from those kind of distances. Trying to get it wide, and it was a good idea, but he couldn't find his supporting player. Miller! And the ball's gone out for a corner. Swung in from the corner. Good defensive clearance there. Had a crack! Struck the post here. He's got it away, and that's what you have to do. Well, if that chance had found the net, it would have been a long way back for the opposition. As it is, it's uh, all to play for. It's a poor ball and overhit. That's cut out. Penalty. Not here, but where Alan McAnally is. Alan, what have you got to tell us? It's a penalty for Bournemouth. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Pressure's on. Can he score? Oh, he's bloomed it miles over the bar. That's an absolute shocker. 79 minutes played. It remains 2-1. Cheers, Alan. Excellent vision. Can find some space here on the flanks. shot oh nowhere near no he's miscued that one miscued it badly and 
And on the clock, eight more minutes. They've worked so hard, the team, to be in front here, and that's been recognised by the supporters. Yeah, I think they've recognised that it has been a really good performance, but still a bit of work to do. Keeping an eye on the time here, we still could have a decisive moment in the short time that remains. Guedes. Passing play out wide from Southampton. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. Looking a problem until the clearance was made. Sims. Well, there's going to be three minutes added on. There will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. Thomas Muller. Good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Stopping the cross, important job. And he's blown his whistle for the last time. Well, they played very well when they had the ball, which wasn't that often. Um, but they played even better when they didn't have the ball to stop the opposition. Yeah, that's right. It was the old wham bam when they did have it. They used it extremely well and clinical in the end. Coming here today, you sense that the home fat. Well, this free kick given, and there's a real uh, discussion now about how to make the most of it.